What's going on everyone? This is the Spagmeister, and welcome to part 4 of my Halo Anniversary Legendary Walkthrough. The Covenant believe that what they call the Silent Cartographer is somewhere under this island. The Cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. We're closer than LZ. It's gonna be hot. Get set to cut out the wings. Cut down. Hit it, Marines! Once your boot's on the ground, go ahead and try to target the grunts on the beach. And then swap your, your assault rifle for a plasma pistol, too. And then up ahead we'll just have a couple elites and jackals waiting for us. Hopefully you come out of this engagement with a decent number of marines as I did right here. And we're going to take a couple of these guys with us in the War Dog. If we happen to lose any, we can always come back to this area. Showtime! Okay, let's move out. Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control center. Alright. So once you come into this area, you can try to splatter the grunts that are right on the beach here. Since my marines are having a little bit of trouble targeting these guys, we're just going to go ahead and hop out and deal with them on foot. Once those guys are down, you can go ahead and replenish your plasma pistol for a fresh one. And at the base of the hill up ahead, we'll have another group of grunts as well as a couple of elites. Generally, I prefer going in and splattering these guys, but I'm going to be cautious with the grunts since they like to throw some grenades too. And up here, we'll have another opportunity to splatter plenty of enemies. So I just wiped out three elites in that one pass, which is really nice. And then down below, there's going to be three jackals, and we can go in and try to splatter these guys as well. Since there's still some grunts alive, I'm going to hop out and just deal with them.
real fight. The cartographer must be here. My analysis indicates that the map room should be at the bottom floor of this facility. Let's keep going inside. All right, so down here you can use your grenades to take out pretty much all these enemies. Don't let them lock the doors. Underestimated the Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. They've locked the doors, and we don't have enough firepower to get through them. Cortana to keys. Go ahead, Cortana. Have you found the control center? Negative, Captain. The Covenant have impeded our progress. We can't proceed unless we can disable this installation security system. Understood. We're still en route to the objective. I may be out of contact when we get there. Here are your orders. I want you to use any means necessary to force your way into the facility and find Halo's control center. We have to get to the center before the Covenant. And failure, people, is not an option. Echo 419 to ground teams. I'll stay on station and keep an eye out for Covenant bogeys. Second squad, ready to roll as soon as everybody's topside. LZ looks secure, sir. Nothing moving. Good luck, people. Keys out. We need to find the security override to get this door open. Alright, so you don't have to stay down here and uh, listen to their dialogue and do nothing. Uh, you can just continue on with the mission as usual. But I didn't want to go into the next area with me trying to talk over their dialogue. So now we're in a position where we gotta go and deactivate the security and get that door open. Up here we'll have a chance to once again splatter play of enemies. And there I wiped out, I think, all of the jackals that were at the bottom of the hill. I'm going to go in and check one more time to see if there are any enemies remaining. There are. And over here there's a stockpile of ammo and grenades. And there's a couple of health kits too, so go ahead and snag one of those if you need it. And right here what I choose to do is park the war dog here, and we're going to let the marines give us some supporting fire from the bottom of the hill. Here we'll just have a number of grunts as well as a couple of elites to deal with. I got pretty lucky with that grenade. I was afraid that would have killed me. Basically, we're just having to deal with two separate squads of grunts that are led by a single elite. Don't feel like you have to rush yourself through this section. I would just prefer to play it safe if you find yourself in danger. As you turn the corner on this platform, there are going to be a couple of hunters. And I got the jump on one of them right there. And this guy, as soon as he raised his shield, I just put one bullet in him. Right here, we have a couple of overshield modules. I'm going to save those, and the reason I'm going to do that is because these jackals up ahead can easily knock out my overshield with a single overcharge shot. I'm 
I'm just gonna target the jackals first since they can be a bit annoying even at that distance. And that is the last one that we'll have to deal with for this part. And once you have most of the grunts down, we can go ahead and combo this elite too. And if you want to, you can go back and pick up the overshield at this point. But I'm not going to do that because up ahead there will be uh, some more overshield modules. Defending this entrance will have a number of grunts. And these guys, you can just use your plasma pistol to deal with them. While the grunts are one of the weakest enemies, in fact they are the second weakest enemy in the game, I wouldn't just blindly run in there and try to go Rambo on them. Even a group of them can easily kill you. And once again we'll have a couple more hunters to deal with, and you can pretty much take them out the same way as before. should open the door that leads into the main shaft. Mayday! Mayday! Dropship Bravo 22 taking enemy fire! Repeat, we are under heavy fire and are losing altitude! Understood. We're on our way. Now in this room we have six invisible elites. And with these guys, it may be better to use the assault rifle on them, but otherwise if you still have a pistol, you can try to aim up at their head and take them out in one hit. I didn't do exactly the best job of demonstrating that, it's kind of harder to do it with these guys since they're so difficult to see. Or at least it's difficult to see where their head is. Now these grunts at the top of the rock, we can just target them from a long distance here. And what you can do is just jump straight down to the beach and continue on, get the ammo over by that pelican. After I saw we were up against hunters, I thought you could use them. Let's move down the beach. Keep an eye out for any cargo we can salvage. What I'm going to do instead is run back to the war dog going down this path that we just took and get the marines that way instead of proceeding forward. Or I should say proceeding forward on that beach. Here we'll have a dropship that leaves us with a group of jackals. And you can just use your plasma pistol to deal with these guys.
and then you can stock up on new overshield and get some more ammo over by the stockpile. And down here, I just went to see if there are any more grenades left. And if you dealt with those grunts, we'll still be left with these jackals down low. And you can just fire these guys. And there will be at least three more over on the other side of the rock. And once again, those guys can easily go down with the war dog. What I'm, what I'm going to do here is pick up the rocket launcher and get all the ammo for that. Which is why it's so important to come here and get the ammo. Once you've done that, then we can go back the other way on this beach. Or you could continue in the same direction. This entire area is just one island, so you'll still get your to your destination either way. But this route is a little bit faster. If you happen to lose your overshield for whatever circumstances, there's still one more down on that beach. And then we got a couple hunters here defending the entrance down to the cartographer. And we can inspire these guys pretty easily too. And what I'm going to do here, instead of proceeding down there on foot, I'm going to bring the war dog with me with the marines still inside. And we'll just park it right about here. So now we approach this bottom area with the stealth on our side. So you can smack that elite in the back. Uh, and I would drop the rockets temporarily. And we're going to use the plasma pistol to try to help take out some of these enemies down low. And what I'm going to do is try to see if I can find a way to get to the elite in the middle of this room. Fortunately, that plasma grenade didn't work out as well as I hoped it would. Just watch out for any grunts that might come down from upstairs. But once you have them dealt with, this Lee is pretty easy to deal with alone. Down here, we'll have a couple of jack or two or three jackals waiting for us on the ramp. Well, 
Once they're down, you can go back, pick up the rocket launcher, and continue on. In here, we'll have a good number of jackals to fight once again, and we'll also have a couple of hunters in here as well. So this will be our fourth engagement with the hunters on this level, I think. Once again, same as usual, just let them try to charge you, lift their shield, and put a shot in their belly. spot if we don't get out of here before additional reinforcements. Let's find that map. So once you come into this area, we'll have a good number of grunts to deal with as well as elites. Once again, I would swap out for a plasma pistol if you can find one. And there's one elite that joins these group of grunts. Now on the other side of this cartographer is a couple more elites. And these guys I would try to plasma combo them as well. Center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I've interpreted this correctly. Interesting. A shrine is an unlikely place to put such a significant installation. Cortana to Captain Keys. The captain has dropped out of contact, Cortana. His ship may be out of range or having equipment problems. Keep trying. Let me know when you've re-established contact. And then tell him that the Master Chief and I have determined the location of the control center. We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside. Affirmative. Both have us out. So make sure to pick up that overshield as soon as you get to the cartographer. Here I would try to use the rockets as much as you can against the jackals. And these guys off in the distance, I'm just gonna try to use my plasma pistol since they're a little bit more spread out. Now if you come to the right and down this ramp, you'll find an active camo module. Pick that up, and then we can go ahead and smack the other enemies in this section.
But if you can try to target one of the jackals if you still have a little bit left. And once again, we'll keep carrying our rocket launcher until we use up all the ammo in it. So there's going to be a few enemies over here on the left and on the right. And we can target the jackals with the rocket, lo rocket launcher. Ah. Over here we have a couple of health kits, should you need to pick one up. And there's also some more pistol ammo, I'm not sure if I got all that. Nope. No, I sure didn't. Here you can just try to use the rocket to try to target the jackals up on the balcony. And then you can just swap out for any plasma weapon that you so desire. And now we have one more elite here before we get to our marines. And this one's going to be a zealot. Unfortunately, he got to my marines before I could save him. Now finally we have some stealth elites waiting up here for us to try to give us an ambush. Just watch out for the shimmer and just target them one at a time if you can. And then once it's all clear, we can go ahead and board the Pelican and finish the mission. Let's get moving. Foehammer, here are coordinates and a flight plan I've worked up. Uh, Cortana, these coordinates are underground! The Covenant did a thorough seismic scan, and my analysis shows that Halo is honeycombed with deep tunnels, which circle the whole ring. I hope your analysis is on the money, Cortana! The last thing the Covenant will expect is an aerial insertion from underground. <laughs> and with that, that is the end of the Silent Cartographer. So somewhat of a medium difficulty type of mission. Uh, it's a pretty easy one if you're going out of your way of speedrunning on Legendary, but for the most part, this is a mission where you'll want to make good use of the plasma pistol for the most part, as well as the Wardog when you're outdoors driving around and you have opportunities to splatter large groups of enemies.
thank you once again for for I didn't say thank you at the beginning, but thank you for joining in with me on this episode. I really appreciate the support, and hopefully I will catch you on the next guide, which will be Assault on the Control Room. So stay tuned for that.